It's day 192, a small part of Allah's treasures. It was the early days of the first Ramadan. Every corner of the city was busy. The children who were fasting for the first time were impatiently waiting for the evening adhan to be read. When the iftar time came, they used to run to the dinner table. Iftar was the special name given to the dinner served during the month of Ramadan to end each day's fast. Even the pleasure they took from eating dry bread and the taste of water was incredible. Those who stayed at the Sufa were the first students of the Prophet. They had given themselves up to knowledge and learning. Each one of them tried to read, learn, and practice a little more with the Prophet. Even if they were hungry and thirsty, the light that they received from the Prophet was enough for them. They used to fast very often, even outside the month of Ramadan. There were those days they couldn't find anything to eat, either at Sahur or Iftar time. In those early days of Ramadan, there were many days that they were hungry. Some had fasted two days, one after the other, without taking a break, because in the evening, they couldn't find anything to eat. But nobody knew about this. They were weakened because of hunger. Finally, they couldn't stand it anymore and went to the Prophet and told him of their situation. The Prophet immediately sent someone to his house, but there was nothing at home because everything had already been distributed to the poor. The Prophet asked them to gather the members of the Sufa and then he addressed them. Later, he prayed, O oh, my Lord, we want something from the treasure of your mercy. You are the only one who can give. No one other than you is capable of doing this. All those members of the Sufa who were present said, Amen, after the Prophet's prayer. The Prophet had not even finished his prayer when someone knocked at the door. They opened the door and a man came in. There he was, holding a tray on which there was a piece of roasted meat and some bread. With the prayer of the Prophet, Allah the Most High had helped them. While they were eating, the Prophet said, We have asked Allah for help. Now this is from His mercy. His treasures are hidden with him for us. Indeed, this was only a small part of the treasures Allah was keeping for his servants. That small part had been sent as a result of the Prophet's prayer. <laughs>